Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the other equation of motion, which is a fourth equation of motion, which isn't as often used as the other ones. So let's get started. Now, it made sense to make a separate video for this equation of motion because it's one that isn't as often stressed as the other three main equations of motion, but it can also be useful. So it says here that there is also a fourth equation of motion that can be used when you don't know the acceleration of an object. And this is it here in the box. So we have s equals a half times u plus vt. And you'll notice there's no acceleration there and all of these symbols have the same meanings as they do above in the other three equations of motion. So we've got displacement s, initial velocity u, final velocity v and time t. It then says however, all problems involving the motion of an object can be solved using one or more of the three equations of motion above, so this is not used very often. Saying that though, you will find it on the relationship sheet that you'll get in the exam and you'll find it next to the other three. I'm just going to show you now a worked example of where this might be useful. So in this one and only question, it says that a hockey puck of mass 160 grams is struck by a stick, i.e. a hockey stick, and moves off at a velocity of 5.0 meters per second. The puck slides along the ice and comes to rest in a time of 12 seconds. Show that the distance travelled by the puck in this time is 30 metres. Well, we're going to do what we always do for equation of motion questions and write down SUVAT on the left hand side. So we're trying to find the distance or displacement s. We know that the initial velocity is 5.0 metres per second. The final velocity is 0 metres per second because we're told in the question that the puck comes to rest. We don't know what the acceleration is in this question and this is why we're going to use the new equation of motion. And we know that the time is 12 seconds. So I'm going to put a star next to the S because that's the one we're trying to find. And writing down our new equation of motion because we don't know what A is, we've got S equals a half times U plus VT. Substituting in the numbers now, we have that this equals a half times 5.0 plus 0 times 12. And putting that into your calculator gives you an answer of 30 metres. Now notice that this is a quick way of finding our answer because we didn't know what the acceleration was. But note that we could also have done this in two parts using the other equations of motion. So specifically what we could have done is use v equals u plus at, our first equation of motion, to find the acceleration a because we know the other quantities there. And then we could put that a into s equals ut plus a half at squared for example to find out what s is. But obviously using this equation in this specific case has cut down a bit of work for us as we've only had to use one equation rather than two. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.